Hi guys. So, um, it's pretty late. It's, well, it's not super late. It's Saturday, Sunday night. It's 9.15. Um, I am, you know, winding down from the weekend. It was beautiful weather. So I got all the patio furniture out. We did a little barbecue today. The front yard has been weeded and ready for mulch. So I remember when I was doing the, um, comparison of the Arteza watercolor pencils here we go so we did a video on this i will link it at the end of this video and i did these two cards comparing the pencils to the brush pens and somebody asked if i could do a video comparing um you know how they work to other watercolor pencils so that's what i'm gonna do today so it's just a comparison on these other watercolor pencils that i have not used in a long time, honestly, because I just, I wasn't real happy with them. Um, but let's try them out today and see how they work. I am going to use a different stamp today. It is also another scene stamp. This is from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. Um, I have some other accessories to go with this stamp set, so I won't finish the card today, but I'll finish it off and post it on my Instagram or my um Facebook. So I have this fence set and then I have like this beachy sandcastle accessories set. So I'll finish these off on the scene, um, but just not today. I'm going to use another piece of the Tim Holtz smooth watercolor paper um, for this. We're going to put this down here and I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. I've noticed that my videos are getting quite a bit um longer and I don't want you guys to feel like you have to you know watch for a whole half an hour so again we're going to ink it up with the VersaFine Claire which is a good waterproof ink and we are stamping on the smooth side of the Tim Holtz watercolor paper this is the first time I've used this stamp this is I just picked this one up at this most recent stamp show I'm just happy that the weather's warming up I'm sure you guys all feel the same way. Well, that did pretty good. All right. Get that out of the way. Clean my stamp up. And just to let you guys know, no, I have not mailed out the 8,000 subscriber box. I know you guys are waiting for me to pick a winner on that. Again, I appreciate your patience. Um, I do have a couple other things on order that I'm just waiting to come in, and I want to get those in the box before I send it out. Okay, so I am going to use the same watercolor brushes, water brushes, I should say, um, the color pencils that I have, I think I have two different companies here. Let's see. Um, I have Close to My Heart, and I have General Kimberly's Watercolor Pencils. So these and these. So the gray ones are going to be Close to My Heart, and... Um, Here's a Spectrum Noir pencil. It must have been like a sample pencil. I don't know if it's a watercolor pencil or not. Let's see here. Somebody did ask me about Spectrum Noir. It is not a watercolor pencil. Okay, so I won't be using that one. Okay, so the colored ones that I have are from the other company. Okay, let's see what I have. So again, I just want to compare how... These are in terms of pulling color out and blending, um, very similar to what we use with the Artezas. So I have two different colors of brown here.
And again, what I liked was the ease of using these pencils, watercolor pencils, and how they draw the color out um, when, when the water hits them, how the pigments immediately turn into a liquid watercolor. And again, just following the designs given to us by the artist. What I like about Blue Night Rubber Stamps is these scene stamps are very easy to color. The artist has already given us a foundation. And all we're doing is just lightly adding some color to that. Okay, let's see how these do. It's kind of a big area, so I'm going to use the big brush. Not bad. This is a lighter color, so it's drying back already. I might have to do a couple layers to get this to look more sandy, I guess. And these are the both of these were the um, close to my heart watercolor pencils. So these aren't too bad. I don't even know if they still carry these. I got these a long time ago. And again, the purpose of my videos is not to have you guys go out and buy duplicates. If you already have something, I always say use what you have. Um, I get these products to review um, from these companies. And if you don't have a product like these... Um, that's when I say, you know, try something new. Um, but I, I, it's never my um, intent for you guys to go out and say, well, I already have those. Let me go buy another set. That's not what I'm doing. I don't work for these companies trying to sell their products. Just try to help them spread the word of their products. And if I think it's a, a good find, then I'll let you guys know. Okay, so this one is... General Kimberly's watercolor pencil. Let me see if I can find another one. I must only have a small pack of these because I don't see a lot of colors for these out there. We'll just use some of this for this section up here for our water. So all of these pencils are activating pretty quickly with the um, watercolor pencils. I mean, with the water brush with water. The one thing I am noticing from the other day and using the Arteza ones is I feel like the Arteza ones were more pigmented. Um, like I don't feel like I feel like when I'm watering these down, I'm kind of losing some of the color. Um, almost like a pastel look. And I don't feel like I had, I feel like these colors were brighter with the Arteza pencils. Were these already in the, and it's two different companies I'm using here, but the, the brown dried back and the blue is already kind of going back a shade. And I know that's part of water coloring, but I just wish it were, you know, more prominent. Okay, now on theirs, they have some clouds. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the same sunset look here. So... Let's see here. Let's try mixing it up a little bit. a red. I wanted an orange. Um, I still have a couple of cards left so if anybody did not send me an email with their address and would like a card from me send me an email nancystamps15 at 
That is the wrong color. Wrong kind of pencil. That is not a watercolor pencil. Um, NancyStamps15 at gmail.com. And I will get a card out in the mail to you. I do have a couple of international stamps left. So if you are international, don't hesitate to ask. I do send cards out. Um, I have my friend Anne-Marie who's in France and Terry who is in Canada. So if you are international, I have no problem sending a card. I do have international stamps. Okay, so now I have this red, orange, yellow sky. Let's see how we can get these to blend. And I'm going from the bottom up. Okay, this is going to sound really weird, but this is going to sound odd. I don't like the texture. I don't know if that makes any sense. How can I feel any kind of texture, but I feel like it just seems drier. I know that's going to sound awful weird. Okay, so, I mean, you can see the colors came out okay. They blended okay. So if you have these color pencils, again, I don't think you need to go out of your way and buy new color pencils. I just, I prefer the Arteza ones. I feel like the Arteza ones, um, they obviously get more colors. There's 72 colors in that. And these are both probably a dozen set in here. Let's see if I can figure these out. And I don't know price point. I didn't um, look that up. Okay, so it looks like you get more with the Close to My Heart collection. I don't know. I don't remember, guys, if this was all one collection or if it's two collections. So... If if somebody is, um, knows about Close to My Heart, if they can put some input in here, that would be fabulous. Okay, so the, what are these called? Gen General, General's Kimberly Watercolors. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So you get a dozen of those. And then the Close to My Heart looks like you get twice as many of those, right? Sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one. So twenty-five. It looks like with the close to my heart. So close to my heart, you're getting twenty-five watercolor pencils. I don't know the price. Again, I'd have to look that up for you if they still carry it. The Kimberleys. There's a dozen in there, and then the Artezas. We're getting seventy-two. I know they have different sizes, but this pack was seventy-two colors. Um, and again, there was just this weird, funky texture. Um, let's try doing a comparison on the back here. I'm going to grab one of each pencil and just scribble on the back of one of these. So this one is the General Kimberly's. Okay. I probably should have did that. Well, we'll, we'll pull the water up the other way. These are definitely creamier. Like, I can tell just from writing it down. There was this weird texture with the others, too. Okay. 
I want to make sure this is nice and saturated. Where did the red one go? Have a good color saturation for each one. There, yeah, there's definitely more pigment in the Arteza one. There is a texture difference. I know that sounds weird, but it's just smoother pulling the color out of the Arteza. The close to my heart, like, it lost its pigmentation pretty quickly. You can see how much it's dried back there. The General Kimberly's one, you guys saw, I had to, like, I put a nice coat down there. It is darker but if there's a weird texture i don't does anybody do water coloring am i out of my mind you guys tell me i mean you can see the difference there um the general kelly's does look like it is much darker but i think i just put more pencil down on that one than i did the artezas um but the close to my heart did lose some of its color there and again it's just taking it's just a little bit more dried back. I just, I don't know. There's this texture difference. I don't know. You guys tell me. I know it shouldn't be because it's the same paper and the same water brush, but I think it has to do with the pigment that's in there. So there we go. I mean, if you have watercolor pencils, clearly there was a reason I stopped using these other ones. I just didn't like them. I really do like the Arteza ones. And here you can see the scenes we did with the Arteza ones versus the other two. I do feel like there is more pigmentation in the Arteza ones because you guys saw when I colored this one, I really didn't put a lot of color down. I just scribbled it on like I did with this one. Um, but I feel like with this one, they kind of dried back a little bit. So personal preference, it's up to you. If you already have watercolor pencils, I'm not telling you to go out and buy new watercolor pencils. But if you don't have watercolor pencils, I will link the Arteza link for you guys so you can see what you think um, of those if you want to get them. And keep an eye out on my Facebook and my Instagram. I will finish this card up with some accessories and, um, you know, send that out to somebody. Any questions, post them down below. If you have any comments or feedback, I appreciate that from you guys. As always, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.